Hi, my name's McKinley, and today we're going to look inside the little record that wished it could. This is a record that was released on Sympathy for the Record Industry in 1995, maybe, 1996. It's FFTRI-45, but that doesn't mean it came out before, after 44 or before 46, because it took a long time to get this project together. This is a double seven inch picture disc that is formatted like a book, specifically a little golden book. So it has the title right here. It opens up to an, uh, I think these call these title pages. So these are the, what are called the sympathy flies as the title page. And you see it right here as you turn the page. And then it has the titles of each side of the record, as well as a little box so that you can put your name in here. And then it says, this is an audiovisual fairy tale presented by Flies Among the Maggots. And the Flies Among the Maggots are Savage Pencil and Long Gone John. Savage Pencil did the artwork and Long Gone John, the proprietor of Sympathy for the Record Industry, did the story. Now you might know Savage Pencil because he did the artwork for the Sonic Youth, Lydia Lunch, Death Valley 69. I think it was a 12 inch, but that's to me what he's most famous for. He was also a writer for NME and at, under the pen name Edwin Pouncey and helped break Nirvana and Mud Honey and all the Seattle. It was, he was really crucial in making Sub Pop a big thing in England, which made it a big thing here in America. So in any case, this is a collaboration between the two. And it is a double seven inch picture disc about the little record that wished it could. Now, each of these seven inches have a groove that you can put on your record player and you can actually play, but it's complete silence. And that is part of the narrative of the story the little record that wished it could is a record, is a story about a record that doesn't have music and is completely blank. But, and you have to read the story, which I'll read to you in a later video. But you have to know that this is a double seven inch with completely blank grooves. So when you put it on your record player, you will hear absolutely nothing. And that's kind of the joke. It's a very elaborate joke by the flies among the maggots. It's something that you will probably hardly ever see in a record store because it was not produced in a very limited amount and was quite expensive to begin with because it's two picture discs with no music on it. So it's really just a story. I just wanted to share it with you because I don't think you'll probably ever see it for sale. And when you do, it'll probably be more than you want to pay for it because it's more of an art object than anything else. Is it a comic book? Is it a book? Is it a record? It's hard to say. It's a record, but with no music. And it's a story, a graphic novel, but told with within the pages of a picture disc instead of regular pages. So tell me what you thought in the comments below. Do you think it's a record? Do you think it's a book? Is it a comic book? You tell me what you think in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, share it with your friends on whatever social media platform you want to, because how many of them will ever get to see this record? And in a different video, I'll go ahead and read the whole story to you.